McDonald's Limited Time Offer Strategy Saved the Company How did McDonald's Limited Time Offer Strategy help to save the company and retain its relevancy in the fast food industry? In this video, we'll see the problems McDonald's faced with higher quality competitors and what the company did with LTO and other initiatives to retain the top spot in the fast food industry. Our channel is dedicated to making business videos that introduce business concepts that might be helpful to you. In this video, we'll use a popular marketing framework to analyze McDonald's comeback strategy with limited time offers as its cornerstone. The problems the Golden Arches faced in 2014. Following a succession of dismal results, McDonald's fourth quarter was the worst in 2014, with net earnings down 21% from the previous year. Comparable sales in the U.S. fell 1.7% in the quarter, while customer traffic fell 4.1%. In 2015, McDonald's struggled to significantly increase sales, particularly in the United States. Whereas the Golden Arches once led a food service revolution, in 2014 and 2015, they were facing an uphill battle against new rivals with American consumers quitting McDonald's locations in favor of more healthy brands. The titles Smashburger, Chipotle, Fazoli's, and Freebird's World Burrito strike dread into the hearts of those in charge of McDonald's, as the rising fast casual sector threatened to terminate the country's love affair with fast food. According to one Deloitte poll, 76% of respondents had healthy eating habits, implying that customers were beginning to avoid calorie-laden fast food outlets in favor of healthier choices. Moreover, half of the same sample said fast food portion sizes were too excessive, and 83% thought there should be more healthier options on the menu. Competitors such as Chipotle Mexican Grill, 90% owned by McDonald's in 2005 and ironically spun off the following year, Shake Shack, and Five Guys borrowed heavily from the fast food sector in terms of logistics, but their often better quality and higher price point placed them in the fast casual category. Aside from the emphasis on health and wellness, leading fast casual brands tend to specialize on one core area and offer value through higher ingredient quality, customer care, and customization. The major issue, however, is not necessarily that the food and service are subpar, but that the millennial generation is beginning to reject a sector that has long controlled the food service business. The 4 P's Marketing Framework In this video, we'll use the 4 P's Marketing Framework to analyze McDonald's efforts to turn around its financial performance. The 4 P's are four fundamental components utilized when promoting a product or service, product, price, place, and promotion. E. Jerome McCarthy's very important book, Basic Marketing, A Managerial Approach, first fully articulated the four P's in 1960. He wrote, developing the right product and making it available at the right place with the right promotion and at the right price, to satisfy target consumers and still meet the objectives of the business. When developing marketing plans and strategies to effectively sell to their target audience, businesses typically consider the four P's. Products, new gourmet menu items, then back to basics. Developing the right product. In 2015, former CEO Steve Easterbrook attempted to make McDonald's more relevant by redesigning its menu to include all-day breakfast, healthier salads, and fresh rather than frozen beef for its burgers. According to the CEO, he aspired to make McDonald's a contemporary and advanced burger company. In late 2015, the addition of all-day breakfast aided in the start of a turnaround. Concerns remained, however, that all-day breakfast was a single platform that may improve sales, while pre-existing difficulties remained unresolved. According to management, Signature created sandwiches with components like sriracha, guacamole, and artisan grilled chicken, as well as the new buttermilk crispy tenders, have proven to be popular with customers. According to franchisees, hot-off-the-grill fresh beef burgers have also increased sales in locations where they are available. The firm reported a roughly 4% increase in domestic sales and attributed the rebound to the debut of their signature crafted sandwich platform, which includes high-quality ingredients such as Hass avocados and applewood smoked bacon, as well as a nationwide cold beverage value offer. While these gourmet menu items create a temporary buzz, they confused consumers. Loyal McDonald's customers preferred their traditional fare whereas a Shake Shack customer might try a McDonald's gourmet burger once but return to Shake Shack afterwards. The most notorious example of a company shunning its core customers and going after a new consumer segment is J.C. Penney, led by its former CEO, Ron Johnson. Instead of capturing new customers, J.C. Penney ended up crashing its revenues by confusing and upsetting its traditional customer base. 
Not only was the sales bump fleeting, but the new items also increased costs and complexity for their restaurants. McDonald's resurgence began with a simple decision, go back to fundamentals. It reduced its menu selections and concentrated on affordability and quality. It also made classic favorites like Big Macs and Quarter Pounders fundamental to its menu, which simplified the kitchen and sped up customer service. Instead, McDonald's successful comeback would be driven by the other three Ps. Mobile, kiosks, delivery, more franchising. Making it available at the right place. McDonald's launched several initiatives to improve its performance through how and where it participates. Instead of succumbing to a technological onslaught, McDonald's has transformed itself into a digital pioneer. Rather than hunkering down during the pandemic, it has welcomed new business models. It's not a secret that McDonald's is primarily in the real estate business. McDonald's ownership of the property beneath franchisees' restaurants gives it a vested incentive in co-investing in refurbishments and technology improvements with them. This not only helps to entice clients by strengthening the brand, but it also increases the value of the land. McDonald's and its franchisees have recently invested considerably in building touchscreen ordering kiosks and other enhancements such as two-lane drive throughs The Golden Arches made its largest acquisition in years, purchasing a technology startup that helps personalize the drive through experience. The renovations may have cost franchisees a lot of money. However, they reaped the advantages of the COVID-19 epidemic. Now all McDonald's restaurants in the United States offer mobile order and pay, which management hope will continue to draw consumers and raise revenue. Furthermore, 13% of McDonald's U.S. restaurants have been renovated to accommodate the chain's experience of future layout, which incorporates ordering kiosks and optional table service. Probably the greatest impact of where it competes is delivery. McDonald's was aggressively growing its delivery business while competitors delayed. After an initial partnership with Uber Eats, the company now also works with Grubhub and DoorDash. McDonald's was already the global leader in fast food delivery by 2017. Delivery now accounts for nearly 40% of McDonald's total sales. Management also recommitted to Ray Kroc's famous franchise business model, raising its franchise share to 93%. Previously McDonald's management believed its company-owned units outperformed franchise ones. However, this was true only because company-owned units didn't pay franchise fees. On an apples-to-apples -apples comparison, franchise-owned restaurants were more profitable than those run by company. By reducing company-owned stores, McDonald's enjoyed higher margin and more consistent royalties and rental income. The outcomes were outstanding. McDonald's operating margins, which were as thin as a ruffled patty in most of the restaurant business, expanded to 43%. Promotion, Celebrity Collaborations, Echoes of the Past The Right Promotion Limited time offers especially with celebrity collaborations has become of the cornerstone of McDonald's turnaround strategy. Instead of trying to lure customers with fancy new menu items, McDonald's relied on its core menu items and short-term promotions to create a sense of urgency to return to the Golden Arches. Remembering Croc's adage, we're not in the hamburger business. We're in show business, working with influencers has become a popular strategy for McDonald's. It has charmed customers with unique touches created by global stars like BTS and renowned rappers like Travis Scott. What comes to mind when you think about Travis Scott, Jay Balvin, BTS, or Saweetie fans? McDonald's sees the same thing you do, and they're attempting to get these folks to come in. Many people grew up on Happy Meals and will buy a burger if it is supported by the newest fad. The majority are younger and more inclined to purchase fast food, and McDonald's matches their finances. This is a cheaper and more effective way to re-engage young adults. These limited-time offers harken back to the 1970s and 80s with blockbuster movie tie-ins with fast food chains. The promotions offered movie-themed packaging and cheap souvenirs. Do you remember the Star Wars collectible glasses from Burger King or McDonald's Star Trek meal? McDonald's also has run its Monopoly limited time offers for many years. Have you wondered why the McRib and Samurai Burger are only offered periodically? They are efforts to boost traffic and hopefully convert new customers into repeat customers. The celebrity collabs are a new twist to attract different demographic segments. In addition to traditional media, the celebs provide social media exposure. 
they help to get customers to use the mobile app. In the case of the J. Balvin meal, the McFlurry was only complimentary if the consumer used the McDonald's app to make the purchase. When customers order meals using the app, they may easily personalize their order. Customers can try something new without requiring McDonald's to provide new menu items. Burger King's Have It Your Way motto was always a hit. It's common knowledge that McDonald's allows you to customize your meal, but nothing emphasizes this point more than celebrities revealing their unique orders. Price, bringing back the dollar menu. The right price. Despite the emphasis on improving and updating McDonald's, the company did not lose sight of its core customer base. McDonald's struggled greatly after discontinuing the dollar menu in 2014. McDonald's finally discovered a suitable substitute in 2016, the McPick 2. Shoppers can order two products from a list for just $5. McDonald's has finally uncovered the key to attracting value-conscious consumers with the McPick 2 and $1 beverage discounts, or $2 for McCafe beverages. In 2018, McDonald's introduced the $1, $2, $3 menu, a fresh spin on its popular dollar menu. These initiatives highlight McDonald's ability to take advantage of new opportunities but also regain its confidence in its core value proposition, fresh, good quality food at a reasonable price. While it took a huge nudge from the healthy food trend and fast casual competitors for McDonald's to eliminate preservatives and artificial ingredients from its burgers and nuggets and get back to its roots. This brings us to the end of this video. Have you tried one of their limited time offer promotions? What do you think of their technological innovations? Please comment below. Thank you for watching our video. Before you head out, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click the bell icon for more videos like this one. And, before we sign off, here's another interesting business video you might like.